because <clears throat> the trolls are totally harassing my business partner's family and they're kind of putting the business in jeopardy already. Now, it's every time I seem to be doing something good with my life, they just interfere in it. You know, when they keep saying, get a job, get a job. But when I do do something good, the attackers, the attack people around me, it's such a low blow attacking Simon's family, his wife, like you know, you know what I mean, his woman. Like that is a low blow, and these people claim to protect women and children. Yeah, they love attacking people. They always love attacking the innocent people who sit back and don't do nothing. Don't comment, don't do all they tried to do is get on with their lives. People like that don't want that kind of shit to happen. It's a bit strange how some people have been quiet just lately. And all this targeting is happening on behind the scenes, isn't it? Humble Dryer and Parrot Girl are just shit houses. Proper pair of fucking shit houses. And that's the truth seeker speaking, humble dryer, you shit house. If anybody knows that humble dryer's address, put his address in the comments. I want to know where he lives. Um, these, 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 these situations now need to be dealt with. And for me, the bullying people online, not just bullying people online, but they're trying to ruin my career. They're trying to get in the way of my business. They're trying to get in the way of what I'm doing. And I think it's wrong. It is totally wrong, guys. And I they all begged Tally Tubby up. You just asked for his address there. They all begged Tally Tubby up. They all wind in, wound him up, sent him up there for one reason and one reason only. It's not in shit bags. Narrative for him, do it because he's one of them. He's a Freemason, he likes being behind the scenes, doesn't he? The little shit bag. He sends his little soldiers like he has done on multiple occasions. Shit bag, humble dryer, and his little fucking henchman who's willing to do anything for him. God knows why. Must be paying them quite a lot of money, in my opinion. But you've just asked for his address. Do you think he'll ever meet you? No. Do you want me to tell you why? Because he likes being behind the scenes. <laughs> he's getting more public just lately. I don't know why. He's saying he's got some big fucking expose coming down. More lies. More people is roped in for his own narrative. I don't think that's why. I think that's why they don't like the narrative destroyer because he took the name. Because they've all got one and one narrative and one narrative only. Trying to bring you down for some reason. I think it's because they want the platform to themselves. They've always have done, haven't they? This is why they hate these little channels what pop up. If you don't follow suit as them, you're a troll. But I only put out what I see and what other, how other people conduct themselves. Humble dryer, get a backbone, meet the bloke and sort it out. But you won't because he'll sma smash that fucking ginger face right down into your arse over your shit bag. I just, you just keep telling me just to ignore it. How can you ignore it when they're absolutely trying to destroy every single thing that I'm doing? And not just that, they're targeting people around me, which is totally wrong. And why they're not being arrested for it? Because the police informers, man, that is why they're not being arrested. You can't get away with this kind of behaviour on YouTube and just keep walking free. Do you know what I mean? And I think it's totally, totally wrong. Um, but me and Simon, we're not going to give up. 
okay? We're going to continue the business and we're going to succeed, okay? But I'm asking, you know, if you don't leave the man's family alone, they're going to be phoning the police and getting the police involved. I'm telling you now, because you're an absolute horrible vermin that don't deserve to be on YouTube. And I'll tell you one thing now, if I ever bump into you, you're getting a right hand humble dryer. I cannot wait to bump into you. You won't, because he hides under his bed most days. Little shit house. They all say Radio Babs is a copper. Nah. Trust me. Humble dryer. And that fucking parrot what he's got on his shoulder are part of a bigger, bigger conspiracy. Big conspiracy. Trust me. Humble Dry is not the only one, is he? Shit house. What you don't understand, I get sent multiple emails on a daily occasion. But I'm a full time worker. But I'll take my time out for you, Humble, you little fucking shit house. You little fucking troll. You little fucking manipulator. Shit out. Let's see if you've got the same energy when you see me. No. Let's see if you've got... Let's see all of you see if you've got the same energy. Because you know what? You think you can have a go with me and you think I'm a mug? Well, we'll see when you bump into me, won't we? You know what I mean? We'll see who does the talking and, and we'll see who does the talking then. Right, because all you do, you're full of mouth on YouTube. One thing I don't like is you're targeting women and my friend's wife, and I am very, very disappointed and angry in that, because you don't attack people's women. No, but it's, they think it's okay for them. They think there's nothing wrong with it. That's how deluded they fucking are. On multiple occasions, Tally Tubby and fucking Wall off fucking... Humble have targeted innocent women. Like women who wanted answers about her brother's murder. They just target and target and target and target. 